Hello again from Elation Productions. Today I'm going to show you phase two of my DC motor conversion on my TAG lathe. Uh, most of the additional things done to it are cosmetic in nature, but let me show you how this has been finished up. Um, first of all, I took the motor mount and I bead blast it for a little nicer, more finished appearance. You can see it doesn't look quite as rough as the bar stock it was made out of. And we also have the gauge cluster and control panel which has been painted up blue to sort of match the original paint that was on the tag. I believe the tag machine actually is a hammered powder coat finish while the paint that I have painted this cluster is a just a rust-oleum cobalt metallic blue which isn't too far off from the original and as you can see I've also added a DC amp meter so I can gauge the load that's being placed on the motor while using it uh, also I've cleaned up some of the wires that were originally coming out of the box you can see um, right here where originally I have a 110 line and a 90 volt DC line coming out and running around back to operate the gauges and you can see I've cleaned up the back a little more the gauges have uh, more heat shrink a little bit more tidy in appearance going and shortened up the leads and everything else has been cleaned up and finalized in the back here and let's give you a real quick view Let me turn off this light here so you can see the amp meter a little bit better just a old Simpson 2 amp meter uh, only trouble I've had with it so far is it doesn't want to seem to stay on the zero too well. It re registers pretty accurately when it's running, but uh, just a little picky thing sort of bothers me. But I'll let you see it in action here as we flip it on. And right now with no load, we're running about a quarter of an amp. and I can ramp it up a little bit here and she draws a little bit more for a moment but she draws about a quarter of an amp in all ranges I can put a little bit of a load manually here on and we can put her up to about an amp, a little bit past but that's with me grabbing the spindle head pulley there which is a three inch diameter pulley on the spindle and compared to any bit I'd ever be using in this machine I don't think it's going to put that much of a load ever on it really the meat is just just an amusement just another toy for me it's not a real critical function of the machine but it's kind of fun to have and you can see she doesn't quite sit back at zero something with the static I can tap this a little and blip it down but most of the time it rests a little bit above zero when it's not turned on and there you have it basically this has been conclusion of phase two of my DC motor conversion and it's pretty much finished for the time being as you can see I left a little bit of space open on the panel here if I want to add something later say switches or controls for um, coolants or anything else I might want to have for an accessory on this machine but for the time being it's pretty much at a completed state and it's going to stay that way for a while um, if you have any comments or questions please leave them below I'll try to get out some plans pretty soon for anyone interested in the fairly basic conversion just consisting of the motor mount there 
uh, adaption of that column where it attaches to and um, not really necessary but an addition of a side control panel too. Uh, the limited use I've had it so far, it seems to be working very well. DC motor, just like anyone will tell you, puts up much better uh, torque than an AC-DC motor. Much, much quieter and smoother. Uh, I'll have a video up in comparison of the old AC-DC motor to the new DC motor. Uh, quite a bit of difference I've noticed in how much noise and vibration it has at the head. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to see more. We'll try to get some more videos out of this nature soon. And until then...